Hello YouTube, NSWD Tech Tips here. This time I want to talk about a very useful app um, that I use um, called No Root Firewall. Um, basically what no root, no root Firewall does, it's a firewall for your mobile device, your Android phone. Um, that does the same thing as a PC firewall, uh, stopping uh, intruders uh, hacking your phone and to also stop uh, rogue apps that you may have downloaded um, from uh, accessing, uh, getting permissions to things that you really shouldn't be having permissions to, you know, such as uh, uh, why, is, why does a paint, uh, a paint app need a, um, permission to, to make uh, phone calls? Um, if it's not a, v, um, a VoIP app, yes, it uh, obviously needs to make phone calls, access your contact someone. But why does a paint app, app uh, need to do that? Now, to uh, let me show you what I mean. Uh, show you um, no root file. There it is. Uh, I'm using the beta version. Okay. So when you start it up, you click start. Okay. And then uh, when you use it for the first time, uh, any apps that you run are then um, captured by no root firewall, blocked uh, in the first instance, um, saying that it needs this permission to do th this or that, or uh, access your contacts or camera, so on and so forth, or internet access. Okay, so you can decide, you have control of what, what which apps do what. It, it, um, and, and as a side note, it's even useful for uh, uh, stopping up from uh, throwing up pads all over the place. Okay, you can control that. But that being said, uh, we should let some app through um, to so that the developer can get paid. You know, people um, need money to live on, so uh, uh, app developers are humans that need to be paid. So you know, best thing to do is just upgrade to a premium uh, version of whatever app you're using. Okay, let's give it. Uh, give a quick uh, demo um, so you're on the home screen there obviously not much information to move around oh by the way as it says there uh, it creates a VPN connection virtual private network okay uh, which is basically uh, an encrypted uh, connection uh, through the internet um, so which can't be intercept intercepted by hackers okay Similar, if you're using the public Wi-Fi, if you don't use a VPN, then you risk, run the risk of a man in middle attack or somebody capturing your packets, your internet connection, snooping your private data and, and so on, which you don't want. Virtual private network um, eliminates that and secures the connection, if you like, it's a, like a tunnel. Anyway, um, so if you look at, if I've got a pending access there, um, that's not populated right now, but any um, apps that requesting access to the internet um, would be listed there. And all you have is a yes, uh, I believe it's a yes or no. So grant access or deny. Yeah, it's grant or deny. That's, that's what comes up. Uh, I think it's a lot. Uh, green button for grant and uh, red for deny. Simple as that. And as I say, it gives you full control. And uh, next one is apps. Okay. So these are different apps that are listed. And as you can see there, uh, say 360 wallpaper, um, has access to Wi Fi and cellular. Okay. And now, the reason why I'm using uh, the beta version, um, there's two versions actually um, the regular version. Um, However, with the regular version, it actually says that you might have a problem with LTE. Okay, uh, uh, I believe that's 4G, okay? Um, with the beta version, I think it actually overcomes that, but uh, being the beta, you know, probably some bugs or whatever, but so far, so good, this has been okay. I've been using this for about four weeks now, I think, and no problems. So these are all the problems that are listed. Uh, that have granted access. Uh, okay. Once it ticks, obviously. And that, w if you see a red one there, uh, that's 
uh, got two crosses there. This is actually a program, um, an app that I deleted. Uh, it's a game called Defense Zone 3. Okay, it's not on the phone anymore, but it's actually still listed. Okay, but uh, it's back in Oxy. See if I do at some later point to re reload it. Okay, global features, uh, filters even. You, basically, um, this means that you can set custom features. Uh, features, filters. Um, so if you want more control, this is what you use. Okay. Next one, access log. This is a full log of whatever, uh, whichever apps uh, request uh, access to the internet, uh, permission, so on and so forth. So it keeps the log, and this is very useful for troubleshooting and whatever else you could use a, a useful log for, you know. Uh, let's go up here, see. oh yeah, that clears all data, don't want to do that really, but um, basically that's it. A very easy firewall for your Android phone, okay. Um, I recommend this to um, everybody who uses a mobile, you know, when you, um, just to reiterate, when you download a new app and it gives you the list of uh, permissions that it's, it's requesting, I suggest that you go through all those permissions and as I say, if you see anything suspicious, such as you download a paint program, okay, it's, it's go, uh, being the paint program, it's, it's going to um, need permissions to your storage, okay, so you can save photos and whatnot. But if it asks for permissions to send text, uh, make calls, that's a bit suspicious, right? And why would a paint program need, need to do that? Unless it's some kind of um, feature whereby uh, we can contact the developers for support, but mm, um, normally a paint program shouldn't have to do that, okay? Anyway, hope that helps you. NSWD Tech Tips, signing off. Please subscribe, like and share. Have a nice day.